Hey, man, good to see you again. Thank you very much. Love seeing you in this role. Uh, I want to know what your first thoughts were, though. I, I know you're a boxing fan, and we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. But when you first read this script, did you know the story already? No, uh, I didn't know. You know, Vinny, although he's five-time champ and fought in Vegas and big fights, he's a, the prodigal son of, of Rhode Island. And um, I didn't know the fight game well enough to know Vinny. But I got a good education, and um, especially about Kevin. Kevin was uh, trained with Custom Auto. He was Tyson's trainer. Um, and uh, so these are blue chip, you know, guys. You actually have done boxing, though, I read, as like even as a hobby. Yeah, I, I, uh, when I did Aaron Brockovich and had to get in shape, I decided I would learn a skill. And so 20 years ago, I started boxing. And um, to this day, uh, I always work out somehow uh, with uh, t boxing. I have a lot of friends that are boxers yeah. you know, back in Houston, Juan Diaz, Rocky Juarez. I run around with Oscar De La Hoya when I did radio here in oh, LA. that's cool. So I really appreciate the training that they go through yeah. you know, to do this. But at, playing that trainer role, I mean, did you apply some of that knowledge? Oh, yeah. yeah. Freddie Roach took me through his training camp with Manny Pacquiao when he was fighting Bradley. So I went to Freddie's gym wild card every day, sat, uh, you know, sat on the floor and watched him, you know, manage Manny, do the, do the, do the pads with him, give him water, towel him off, uh, whisper in his ear, wrap his hands every single day. And then we went to the fight in Vegas. I was there in the locker room before and afterwards. I was sitting next to Larry Merchant uh, ringside. So Freddie really gave me a great education. Interesting enough, then afterwards, I went to the Algeri camp when Algeri was fighting Pacquiao, and I studied with Kevin Rooney Jr., who was trained by his dad, and um, Stitch, the great um, the great uh, uh, rapper, uh, not, the, not the rapper, but the, the boxing yeah, no, boxer, yeah, yeah, yeah. he, he um, wrapped my hands for me, and so I met all the promoters. I really got a great education about the history and the, the goings-on of boxing and applied it all to this movie. So Miles had to go through a lot of training where he was working out, no cheat meals. He said he told me earlier this morning he wouldn't even like a, a mint. He yeah. was afraid that would put him over the top. Yeah. You look completely different in this role. Yeah. I want to know what it, your training <laughs> regimen was like, Burger King or? Uh, no. <laughs> it was uh, round table pizza, okay. Dunkin' Donuts. And I, I say, I tell people, I you know, I would send uh, Miles pictures of my breakfast, which was a dozen glazed donuts, and, I would, and he would send me a picture of his, which was like a boiled egg, um, and he didn't let me forget that. Uh, but it's necessary. If you look at Kevin Rooney, this is what he looks like. We're playing real people. We have a, a responsibility to get it right, to, uh, you know, um, I mean, because the interesting thing about this movie, because we're playing real people, is that more people are going to see this movie and base, and our characters are going to be known you know, are, they're going to be known through Miles and me, and um, and and so uh, you know, we, we take that very seriously. We're talking boxing. It is a boxing movie, but it's not. And I know you've talked about that a little bit. Tell me why you like the fact that it really is not just a boxing story. It's well, some... to me, this is a story about dreams. It's about people telling you can't do something, and you believe that you can, and and trusting your instincts. It's a comeback story. It's a fam it's a family story, and that. That, that it's about relationships, it's about uh, mother and father. Uh, boxing, in a, it really is a family sport because the fathers usually bring the sons into boxing at a very early age. They end up coaching them, taking them through the ranks. And um, it, it's, a re it's a family sport. And um, that's what this movie's about. But mostly for me, it's about dreams. It's about Vinny breaking his neck, having a halo, screws in his head, and training days after to become middleweight champion of the world. 